Here's what's happening this week on CNET's Crave Low. Behold, the 2016 Guinness World Record holder for longest two-wheel bike in the world. Members of the Mill Van Meers work ploeg challenged themselves to somehow get into the Guinness Book of World Records, and they succeeded with a 117.5 foot long bicycle held together with stage trusses. One person in the back of the bike pedals a giant tire, while another guy steers the bike from the front. But don't ask them to make a turn. They were awarded a place in the Guinness Book of World Records for 2016, but an Australian team is challenging their record for the 2017 Guinness Book of World Records with a 136 foot long bicycle that accommodates 20 pedalers. A team of designers and engineers from the University of Waterloo in Canada have built a 3D printer that prints custom circuit boards. The Volterra V1 Circuit Board 3D Printer started its successful Kickstarter project and is now an award-winning product, earning the 2015 James Dyson Award in Engineering and Design. The V1 uses a mechanical head to print custom two-layer circuit boards using conductive and insulating inks that are printed from a 2D image file. The end goal for the V1 is to help make prototyping electronics and circuit boards cheaper, easier, and faster for students and small businesses. The force is strong with YouTube user Colby Powell, who posted a video of his newly constructed 23-foot-tall operational Death Star in Lafayette, California. The Death Star's frame required 162 geohubs, 18 cans of paint, 2,000 feet of half-inch PVC conduit, and two T-10 gray parachutes to cover each hemisphere, making a total of 960 connections. The Death Star had to be lifted with a crane to be mounted on top of the house, and after adding some lighting, the Death Star shined in all its world-destroying glory atop Mr. Powell's home, just in time for Halloween, and will most likely remain operational through Christmas. Jetpacks have long been a part of pop culture, and we all wish we had one. With the proliferation of drones filling our skies the past few years, it begs the question, is the next renaissance of flying vehicles going to be the jetpack? The CEO of Jetpack Aviation, David Maiman, thinks so, as he took a flight across New York Harbor using one of his company's JB9 jetpacks. In a video released by the company recently, we can see Maiman buzzing around the Statue of Liberty in a jetpack that seems almost effortless to fly. The JB9 jetpack can reach an altitude of 1,000 feet, fly at speeds in excess of 100 miles per hour, and has a flight time of about 10 minutes before needing to be refueled. According to Jetpack Aviation, the JB9 jetpack is lightweight and can fit into the trunk of your car. The jetpack has been approved by the United States Federal Aviation Administration and the Coast Guard, but there is no word yet on a price or release date. Guys, that's the show. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. Make sure you follow Crave on Twitter at Crave and check out this week's Crave giveaway. This week's Crave giveaway is the new U activity tracker and wireless scale for connected workouts. Go to the blog and enter to win. Ah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>